Oftentimes when talking about bad games, not everybody will agree on whether or not a game is actually bad. While one person may have played it only once before getting frustrated and throwing it out, another person may have played it for months, cementing it as an integral game of their childhood. However, occasionally a rare game will come along that is so bad nobody in their right mind could ever enjoy it. One such game is E.T. for the Atari 2600. Released in 1982, just months after the film, E.T. was a highly anticipated game for the holiday season. Upon release, it quickly became one of the 2600's best-selling games. However, greatly overestimating the number of sales, Atari produced way too many copies of the game, and combined with its high production costs, it ended up losing $100 million and getting stuck with 3.5 million unsold copies. Rumor has it that Atari buried these unsold cartridges in a landfill in New Mexico. This financial failure was one of the major contributing factors that forced Atari to be sold off, greatly changing the company as we knew it. Additionally, the poor quality of the game played a starring role in damaging the reputation of the video game industry, which led to the North American video game crash of 1983, an event that forced the closure of a number of studios, almost destroying the industry until 1985 when the NES was released. These events, coupled with the terrible quality of the game, created a lasting legacy for E.T. as one of the worst video games ever created. I've heard horror stories, but I've never actually experienced a game for myself, until today. E.T. for the Atari 2600. Let's give this a shot. Okay, um, this is weird. Alright, whenever I walk, that number on the bottom of the screen constantly goes down, so I'm not sure what that means. But there was an arrow, so I'm going to try to follow the arrow. Oh, okay, what? Okay. So ET can jump. And now there's a guy. What the heck? I don't know what to do. Oh, okay. What? Where? That just came out of nowhere. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. The frick? No, I can't even do it. Wait, right, there we go. What the heck? How the heck am I supposed to get out of here? I can't honestly cannot get out. Every time I jump up, I just fall back in. And then as I'm going up, I can only go straight up and straight down. It's not like I can go to the side or anything. What if I just keep holding it up? Nope. Oh, there we go. I got a dot. And this dude's chasing me. Oh my god, seriously. There we go. What? No. Okay. Oh, cool. If so if I hold down the same button that makes my head extend, then I can run faster. And this bull crap again. What? 
I wasn't even anywhere near it. There we go. Does it want me to go in this hole? Nope. Oh my god, not this again. I don't know what it wants me to do. Really? How? Every time I jump up, I just fall back in. Who thought this was a good idea? Are you kidding me? Okay, so I've got only got 162 whatever left, so let's see what happens when I actually die. Oh, I'm dead. Some kid came to me. What the heck just happened? Now I'm yellow ET? And how do I get out of here? Are you joking? Come on. Oh my god, this is the stupidest game I've ever played. What in the world? Oh! Those black dots I picked up? Apparently, I guess... If I die, then I get an extra life? Maybe? Come on! Get the frick out, dear lord! Oh my goodness. There we go. Are you joking? Maybe not, because I only got two of those things. What? There we go. I don't... What? I wasn't even anywhere near that. This game has the worst hit detection. Oh my god. There we go. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Okay. <sighs> E.T. is dead. Thank God. This is quite easily the worst game I've ever played in my entire life. And you know what? I've had enough of it. So, thanks for watching. I'm never playing that game again. Bye.